I hope you learned a lot about metabolism and energy and health and how when you eat is as important as what you eat. In a moment, I'd like to review the parameters of a ideal feeding schedule for you and give you the variables that you can plug into your lifestyle and your preferences. So first of all, you do not want to ingest food for at least, I want to emphasize at least 60 minutes post waking up. Second, you want to avoid ingesting any food for the two to three hours prior to bedtime. Remember that the sleep related fasting is especially important because of all the cellular repair processes that occur in the liver, in the gut, in the microbiome, in the brain, all over the body and because of the way that that coordinates the expression of the clock genes that are then going to wick out and have many other positive effects on health, including weight and fat loss, but in addition to that, liver health, et cetera. An eight-hour feeding window as a target seems to be the best target feeding window. Regular placement of the eating window or feeding window every 24 hours is important. You don't have to be absolutely rigid and neurotic about this but you don't want it sliding around on the weekend so that it's starting two hours later and ending two hours later a couple days a week because then you start to offset many of the positive health effects that have been demonstrated for time-restricted feeding. I hope you learned a lot about metabolism and energy and health and how when you eat is as important as what you eat.